aquí en Auto 060 y sin perder tiempo vamos a hacer el eh, test drive del new, nuevo Hyundai Ecus 2014 aquí por las calles de Miami que hicimos esta semana. So how are you, Ricky? I'm doing great. How about yourself, Javier? Good. Ricky Lau, uh, senior product planner, uh, manager for um, the new Hyundai Ecus, the new uh, flagship of, uh, of Hyundai, right? Yes, that's correct. So here's our refreshed 2014 Equus. Um, I know you had a chance to drive it this morning, and uh, we're in our ultimate model. So as you can see, we've got many advanced safety and technology features. Yeah, uh, this car um, came out first time in 2010, right? So That's correct. So late 2010 is when we launched the episode. So this is like a refresh model, it's like mid-cycle. You're right, uh, it's a mid-life cycle enhancement. So what has changed from uh, from the original one? Um, in terms of the exterior design, we've made some subtle refinements to the exterior. So we changed slight revision to the front grille, the front bumper, as well as the rear bumper and rear tail lamp graphics, but overall really subtle changes, but really overall really gives it a more modern premium look. And in the interior really is where we made some major changes, really enhancing the premium feel of the interior. Sorry, it's okay. Uh, and um, so this car has, um, I mean, it's a luxury car, but okay. it's a very affordable car. You were, you were talking in your presentation about The value, I mean, the, the consumers are looking into more for technology and safety and that, but to yeah. me, not I don't want to contradict you, but yeah. so, the value of, of the package, the, the, it, it's like so great. Yeah, it's, it's, it's extraordinary, obviously. I mean, from a product execution alone, we are fully competitive with every vehicle in the premium luxury segment. And the great catch is that we have an astound, really outstanding value story for this car. So as I talked about earlier, we're talking about an $11,000 price advantage over a base LS that doesn't have all these standard features that you have in this car. So it's pretty astounding when you look at that. And of course, when we talk about versus a Mercedes S-Class, we're in a whole different pricing strategy. Yeah. So really, that's a very compelling story when you think about all the, the luxury, the advanced safety, the advanced technology features that you get in this car. And of course, the way it drives with our 5.0 liter direct injection V8, 429 horsepower, and our eight-speed automatic transmission and standard air suspension system that you can adjust with a drive mode select. So with all these features, when you look at the price point of the Equus, it's an outstanding, superb value. Yeah, and this is a low volume car for you guys, because I mean, you're selling about, what, 60,000 cars a month <laughs> yeah. with the other model, but this is a low volume uh, model for you guys. But still, it's like making a statement, like this is what Hyundai can do, right? Yeah, correct. I mean, this is not only our flagship model, it also introduces really our flagship approach to sales and service. So we have really an, a, a unique sales and service experience, as, as I mentioned in our presentation today. We have our personalized service where they'll come and pick up your car from your home and drop off a loaner car for you, take care of your service in your car, and bring it back to you. So really, your time is the most important luxury. That's how we feel about it. And uh, just in, ter in, in terms of um, what we're offering to our customers, which really is a level above the competition. I mean, you're right, our sales in terms of overall sales level is is low for this vehicle, but it's actually outperformed anything that we expected. So in terms of market share of the actual premium luxury segment, our market share of that segment is actually higher than our overall Hyundai market share of the entire industry. So that shows that we're actually very competitive. And as you saw in the data today, we're getting a lot of good inflow from buyers from Lexus, from BMW, Mercedes. So we're making a statement with this car. Yeah. And, um The making a sort of a video. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, all that, all that thing, uh, what, what comes standard with this car? Yeah. Because I mean, it's it's already a lot, and you have two trims for this car, right? Correct. So we have two trims. We have our comprehensively equipped signature, and then we have our ultimate model with all the premium features. But our signature model comes standard with, as I mentioned, air suspension system, blind spot detection with rear cross traffic alert, uh, a smart cruise control system that has the capability to stop, can come to a complete stop on its own and restart. We have a three zone climate control as standard. As you can see, the interior has been completely redesigned with genuine wood trim, aluminum trim as well, leather IP, and a premium microfiber suede uh, headliner. So. This is a very comprehensively equipped vehicle with all the key features that buyers are looking for in this segment. Yeah, and then if you go up back to the ultimate, which yeah. is the one we're driving, the one we're driving here. So as you notice, the first thing you notice is the full digital 12.3 inch display, yeah. which changes depending on what drive mode setting you have. We also it goes from a blue 
Yeah, being like normal. the regular? Yep. And then we have red for sport mode, and then we have white for snow mode. And uh, what else do you get with the, with the ultimate package? And with the ultimate package, you also have this haptic steering wheel dial controller. You have a heads-up display, which is, you know, the, the execution that we've done is very unique. We're the first car that actually has blind spot warning displayed in the heads-up display. So that's actually a first in the segment. So it's a very important safety feature. We know blind spot really helps alleviate driver distraction. And the way that we've executed really maximizes the usefulness of that feature. And additionally, in this vehicle, it has dual rear seat entertainment monitors in the back. It's got power lumbar seats in addition to the power recline adjustment for both outboard rear seats. And um, you have this uh, also this uh, remote control in the center console that comes down. So you can actually be sitting in the back seat doing a point of interest search and entering the destination into the nav system while somebody else is wow, that, driving. That, that's really convenient because like sometimes uh, I mean, driving, some of the systems actually are disabled when you're driving, so yeah. that way you can get help if somebody is with you, right? Exactly, yeah. And so this car only comes in the standard um, wheelbase, so you right. don't have a long one, but it's long enough. Exactly, so this car's wheelbase is basically competitive with anything in the segment in terms of beer long wheelbase models. That was really the intention and the targeting for this. And uh, so this car is a 2014 model. Correct. So maybe for another three years, and then uh, I guess you won't answer it, but I have to ask anyway. <laughs> I mean, it's amazing what Hyundai is doing, so I'm, I bet you guys are already planning for something even more spectacular. Yeah, we're always working on future updates and future progress on all our models, but uh, at this time, I guess I won't be able to share everything about that. <laughs> well, thank you very much for, uh, for the time and the information and the opportunity to drive here in Miami, even though it's not a typical Miami day. Yeah. because it's raining and cloudy and all that but uh, it's a typical Hyundai experience like very fine car right. uh, and, and and I think again uh, not to contradict your point but I think the value is the most important thing here to me okay thank you thank you very much